hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mimi in today's video we will be doing my budget for this week so august was a magic month for me so i'm getting paid five times this week i mean this month um i believe i have another one in october i think um but ignore my thumbnail i don't even know if you guys saw it but i did break my nail down a little bit but what you see here is not blood i was eating um hot fries not the blue bag the chester's kind <laughs> and so that's what's on my finger i tried washing my hand before the video but it's it kind of just stains your nails so yeah it probably won't come out until i take a shower so how is everybody's week going um my week has been a rough one it is so hot here in louisiana like oh my gosh it's so hot it is so hot yesterday um i'm filming this on monday you guys may not see this until tuesday um but yesterday we kind of had like a gust of wind come through and i was like yes it's about to rain thank god and then it it, it just went away like not even like 30 minutes later the wind was just gone and we were just back to heat today like early this morning i went out and worked and it was kind of windy not as much as it was yesterday um but it's supposed to rain a little bit later today like around five or six o'clock so i'm really hoping that that just kind of cools everything off it's just so hot it's been like 108 degrees here um some days well that's what it says it feels like outside according to like my car and things it's been like reading in between mm, i'm gonna say like 96 to 104 is what my car has been saying um but the weather app and everything has been saying that it feels like it's 108 honestly i can't tell the difference it's just hot <laughs> so if you guys did not know what i do for income i do food delivery and grocery delivery services i also have an etsy shop um and i do have a candle business i am still formulating things with my candle business guys candles take time they take dedication it takes some time to get like scents and things like that products that i like um we're considering adding some new products to our brand so that's a whole new thing when my candles are up running and good to go i will definitely let you guys know i know a few of you have um let me know that you like candles so i may be sending some of those out we'll see <laughs> um but yeah guys this huh, this week has been an awesome week for me it could have been better it could have been better if i worked a few more hours a couple of days and if i didn't like not go to work thursday or friday i did not it was just so hot i was like i need a break in between this week so i worked monday tuesday wednesday partially thursday it just the heat kind of just got to me and i was like i'm just i'm going home um and then i work saturday and sunday so with that being said for those five days so this is the week of august i don't even know what today's date is this is going to be for august 29 and let me you guys know i gotta write sideways <laughs> I'm sorry guys I will straighten it out to show it to you all but I kind of have the right sideways because I'm not my handwriting is like super sloppy okay so I did go ahead and I emptied out the cash out of my bills binder we're gonna talk about that in a little bit um but I'm just going to just write it here so for this week my delivery income was seven hundred eleven dollars and ninety two cents when i tell y'all i was busting my butt this week um like i said it could have been better if i would have worked a few more hours a couple of days and if i didn't like not go to work on <laughs> on thursday and friday um but even seven hundred dollars i'm i'm pretty cool with and then um i was putting money to the side from my other checks that i didn't have any bills to pay out of to cover my bills because I know how I am and I know that it's hot and I knew that I wasn't going to probably make all of my bill money that I needed to make so it's a good thing that I was putting money to the side for those um Etsy this week I made $89.97 I am still running a sale until I believe it's the I believe it's Labor Day um the sale ends I believe it's on Labor Day but I'll double check and I'll put it um I'll put it in the description 
and then for the cash that I had from what I was stuffing into my binders was four hundred and ten dollars let me double check it's right here off to the side so I'm just gonna count it real quick just to make sure that it's 14 so I was a little bit off it's 390 I must have just counted a 20 twice um so 390 okay 89 97 and 92 and 390. so that total is $1,191.89 so that is what I have this week as far as income um when I say cash so if you guys were not watching my previous budget with me videos I was putting cash to the side for any bills um for towards the end of the month towards the end of the month beginning of the next month is when all of my heaviest bills are so i know that that week i had to kind of work a little bit more and then because i didn't have bills that were coming out for some of those previous weeks i had been putting a little extra into certain envelopes just to make sure that i covered my four walls so it's kind of where i am with that i know for sure i would not be putting any extra inside of bills for this paycheck um, oh wait, I probably shouldn't have done that because, okay, I'm not putting anything into bills, but I will show you guys how I'm subtracting the bills. I probably shouldn't have wrote that line through. Oh well, sorry. Then. And I'm not using my erasable pen this time. I'm using these, um, pen and gear pens. It came with like a, a colorful pack of pens and I'm using the black one to do my budget with. So, um, what were my bills? So this week I had rent. Sorry guys. I know this is going to be, ugh. This is gonna drive me <laughs> so rent was three hundred dollars i'm paying two hundred dollars to my apple credit card and then my light bill was 114 dollars why did i put 600 for rent i mean 300 rent is definitely 600 <laughs> what am i thinking so that's uh 689 so 914 dollars is the bills that i have for this week So that'll leave me with $277.89. I am leaving the $0.89 cents inside of my account. So with me taking the cash out to kind of give myself a cushion, it kind of messed me up a little bit when it came to like trying to figure out my budget. So um, what I did was I made myself like a separate account. One is going to be like a spending account for me um, for, you know, if I decide to spend something out of that account. You guys know I cash stuff and I pay myself back for any event that I didn't bring cash and I just kind of see something that I want. I usually either use a credit card. Sorry. I usually either use a credit card or my debit card. Um, either or. I just kind of decide right then and there which one. Um, if my credit cards have any type of extra points or anything on them, then I typically use my credit card. But if I'm not getting any extra cash back awards, I'll just use my debit card and I'll pay myself back when I do my unstuffing. Um, so I decided to just make a separate account and then for the weeks going forward, I'm just gonna leave that in my billing account that I made. Um, it is one account, but it's separated. Like it, it has, separation <laughs> i guess it is two accounts because one is then the money's not in each account it's one app <laughs> i'm all over the place it, i'm sorry guys i just came inside from working and i decided to just start filming just to get it done so that i can edit everything and possibly get this up tomorrow um so forgive me my mind is all over the place because i just came from out of the heat <laughs> so it is two separate accounts but it's with the same bank is what i'm trying to say <laughs> all right so this week um i know i am gonna have to budget for gas um i'm not gonna budget for food i'm going to just be very strict on myself and just not give myself a food budget just because i'm not working with that many funds 277 dollars is not a lot and so yeah we, I'm, I'm gonna be very very strict on myself this week um so i know that i need at least two fill-ups worth um for this week i'm not gonna work as much this week um, just because the twins dad is not off this weekend his weekends rotate and so normally when he's not off during the weekend I usually don't go to work until he gets home and that's only for like a few hours so I know I won't be using that much gas this week so $55 is what I will be adding to my gas envelope and my car typically takes about 45 sometimes right, guys i got a phone call and it stopped filming so i'm not sure where it cut off at um but i did go ahead and budget for gas 
oops, so 277, oops, 277 minus 55 for gas. Like I said, I'm not going to give myself anything for food. Um, I'm just going to be super strict on myself um, that I just don't have the money for food this week. So, where are we starting? I know for sure that I need to do my 52 week challenge. Like I said, guys, I am sticking to this. I am going to make sure that I finish this challenge off. Um, I would prefer not to skip any weeks. I know that we're getting up into like the higher weeks, so it is getting a little hard. But I'm making it work. Okay, so taxes, savings, and my 52 week challenge. So last week I stuffed 30 um 34 so this week i'm going to be stuff in 35 and then as far as taxes goes i do put 15 percent for taxes for my etsy income so that's 13 dollars. and then i do 10 percent for my savings so that's nine dollars minus 35 minus 13 whoa did i do times <laughs> Minus 35, minus 13, minus 9. Okay, so $165 is what I have to work with. All right, guys, so let's get into my binders. So the first binder that I'm going to start with is my family binder. I don't think I'm going to stuff anything in here. None of these things um, are like a top priority other than the twins. Um, of course, I am still paying myself back from Marco, but that will get done <laughs> um so nothing for birthdays this time just because like i said i'm not working with a lot um date night no fun no i'm not gonna do the twins i got their account up to four thousand dollars so that's two thousand dollars a piece for them and i'm kind of comfortable where i am right now so i don't need to stuff anything into there marco has 35 dollars. i'm gonna go ahead and just put an extra five dollars in just to even the amount um, so he'll have 40 and then miscellaneous is a fund that is for if and when we put the twins in daycare We are still discussing it. Um, neither one of us is super comfortable with them being in daycare Just because they don't talk Um, like, you know have like a full conversation. They're only one so obviously they can't have a full conversation with me But I always say like if I wanted to put them in daycare I would prefer if they could tell me like in full conversation what happened at daycare um, and obviously, you know, they can't do that. So I'm not super comfortable with them going into daycare just yet. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We I do want to get them to the point where they start socializing with other children um, other than just the two of them. So that's kind of why we want them to be in daycare. But daycare is not necessarily a necessity, you know. So beauty is at $55. I'm just going to put $5 into beauty. Gym, I'm not worried about. Personal, I got $90 in there. Yeah, no, I plan on spending some of this money um, this week. So, uh, and $90 is definitely enough <laughs> for what I plan on spending money on. So I live in Louisiana and we have seafood. And so... Um, I really love seafood and we're getting to the end of like our seafood season I probably should put some more money because I'm probably gonna go twice I have 90 I'm gonna put it up to 100 so I'm gonna put 10 um and so we're getting to the end of our seafood season and I would like to be able to go get some bull crabs and some bull shrimps and things like that before crab season is over i'm not even 100 percent when it ends i don't know <laughs> but uh i know that the place that i go to is only open thursday through sunday so yeah i definitely want to go this week so i don't even well, i do this every time so i'm gonna put ten dollars in personal i need to put some money into debt No, you know what? Personal, no. $90 is definitely enough. It's enough. It is enough. Let's do pick and pull. Oh my gosh, my budget is all over the place. It's never like this. Okay, so this is pick and pull. Are these the, yeah, these are the numbers. So this is from He Budgets He Creates on Etsy. It is He Budgets on uh, YouTube. 
and i just decided to use this as a fun way to stuff my sinking funds i keep shaking the camera <laughs> as a fun way to stuff my sinking funds and things like that so i know i only put ones fives and i think i put a skip in here just because i'm not working with a lot of money so and i think i need to add the ten dollars back there we go so let's get started Oh wait, I didn't even pull out the little sheets. So I wrote the colors down. I didn't write the categories. I just kind of put them in. So let's see what we got. Blue. And honestly, I don't even remember which ones I put which color in. So this is going to be a surprise to all of us. I think I pulled 12 cards all together. Maybe maybe 12 but i know it's all ones and fives i do know that for sure what is that pink red that's why i say red got nothing so far orange light blue is five we have two more dark blue is getting skipped and then pink is getting one dollar I would have liked to have put a little bit more in there, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna put that off to the side. It does come in like this little, um, what is this called? I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Oh, it's called the crayon box. Oh, okay. That's not what I was gonna call it. <laughs> But it came in this. Uh, I forget exactly how many cards you get, but he budget he creates on Etsy. I'm gonna show you guys the card. So that's his YouTube channel. That is his email, his PO box. If you guys want to send him anything, and then that is his Etsy. All right. So let's see who we got here. Who do we have? So birthdays, which was a dark blue. So birthdays is getting five dollars. I'm just gonna pull these out. I can leave those open. Car maintenance. Yeah, it only got five dollars. And guys, I did get my oil change. Um, the twins that had paid for um <clears throat> the other half. So I only paid like forty dollars, which was awesome five six seven dollars into clothing not bad not bad i'm just letting this build um health not stuffing holidays holidays is getting seven dollars as well and i am stuffing for halloween i highly doubt that i will actually do a halloween costume i've not worn a halloween costume in so long i wouldn't even know what to dress up as it's been a really long time since i've actually dressed up for halloween like I don't even remember when the last time was. That's how long it's been. Miscellaneous is my gas envelope. So I use this whenever I use Upside. Um, I do take cash with me for if I'm at a gas station that does not participate in Upside. Whichever is closest to me, that is where I go. Um, and sometimes those gas stations do not participate, so I have to use cash. But then other times, if I'm at a gas station that does participate, I'll use my card for um, my credit card for the cash back on the gas. And then I also use Upside for the cash back on that as well, because why not double dip? <laughs> so, yeah. So this is all the money that I have used for this month on Upside. And you guys will kind of get like a general idea of, well, not really, because... When I use cash, I don't track that, but so far on Upside, I have used about $196 worth of gas. <laughs> gas is expensive, guys. It is so expensive. Debt, debt is at $230. I'm going to put $20 in there, so that'll put me at $250 for the month. I wanted to have a minimum of $200 in there to pay some debts off. If you guys have not watched my debt confession, um that is another video that i have i'll try to remember to link it for you guys okay i forgot where i was at so we have 165 10 10 14 11 and 20 so we have 100 dollars even to work with all right so essentials no i know i need to put some money into supplies 
giveaways has 115 let's go ahead and put another five dollars in giveaway just to make that an even 120 and then supplies um i know i think i owe myself about 210 210 in my supply envelope so i'm gonna put 25 just to bring that up to the amount that i need 14 11 20 30 okay so let's add these up 5 and 25 so we're at Wait, is that right? Let me add this again. 13, 9, 10. Wait, am I? Oh, I keep doing <laughs> subtracting. I'm like, why does it keep going to 4? Oh, lordy. 14, 11, 25, and 25. Okay. So $117 minus 222 is 105 so then 105 minus 35 for my challenges oh, we do have some money left over for my challenges we have 70 dollars left over so let me just add these amounts uh up again so 914 dollars went into bills 55 dollars is going into my gas envelope 117 dollars is going into sinking funds and 105 dollars is going into challenges so yes, that leaves me with a zero base budget. I have $1,191.89 and I budgeted $1,191. So I am gonna um, bulk record you guys because I don't have to go to the bank because I already had the cash here. So I'm gonna try to make as much change in my envelopes as I can. Don't know how successful I'm going to be with that, but I'm gonna attempt to do it and we'll see how it all goes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and joining me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye